Alright guys, day three on the studio here, yes so I'm gonna say. Um Uncle now work, joke, man do so bang and come in from what we keep from both track I can man a joke, but you come early. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so they are and um yesterday guys we were considering what I'm gonna do with the front part right here. Let me show you. What I'm gonna do with right here, if I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put glass right here. Um, drywall here, so I'm glass here, so and you know, and I mean, it's up to me, so I don't know, but I might not do it. I might, I don't know, we'll get there, we'll get there. I'll do it to them, we need to do it. Yes, but this is what we have so far. One of the sheet them gone up already, is all I'm gonna say. And guys, when it's gonna be insulated, it's gonna be. Jam packer, you know, we're trying to get it so finished as much as possible, so we'll see where it goes. It looks nice, man, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we went and we got the materials. This is um, the dry board or drywall, and um, he's cutting it up. It's very easy to cut. I thought it would have been something hard, but it's really easy to cut. You've seen the frame, the structure of the studio already, right? All right, guys, see so what it looks like so far. Yeah, they're far, man. Yeah, yeah, it's the hardest part done already, so you know where you go. All right. So, we we'll get to go up here. I hope that's where you put your life from. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Not big life. Not big life. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, guys, everything is still so far. And then when you see when you see how when the aim, the drywall coming to play, it, it bring in some more space. Yeah. Yeah, so. Guys, this is what you are seeing so far. Yeah, feel like it's coming on. So you know where you are ready. Mm -hmm. So guys, the electrical work starts right now. You understand me? So what are you doing to yourself? Yeah, well, um, this is for the, the switch going to be right here. Yeah. So I have two plug inside, one over that corner right here, one over this corner. Yeah. So um, basically this way when you, before you enter the studio, you just you know, turn the switch right there, so on the light, come on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So that's what we're working on right now. Alright, so you guys that hear that, you know. All right, guys, he's moving really fast. I'm not gonna lie. So, as you see right here, it's the insulation, and this is key for the you know the noise barrier or sound cancellation. You know, they used to say, Don't say soundproofing because you could never soundproof. But all right, let's say cancellation of the sound. So, that's what's going on right here. All right, guys, as we reach to the installation of the window part of the studio, guys, that means the framing has already completed. And I know you watch part of the video, you're seeing the frame and the insulation, but this man moves really fast. I tell you, he works really fast and he works alone and he gets all of this done. This was one of the only time I stepped in and give a um, give a hand. He was able to do everything. When you see the full studio, because basically, guys, you're seeing older videos. The studio is practically finished right now, but I have to show you these videos. So I'm just holding the window for him to install it, but he's really making it right now. Right here, he's cutting out the window frames so he could have that little, you know, you ever see the windows and they have that little pretty curved slant? I don't know. You'll, you'll see it when we show it, all right? But um, he's doing his job, and guys, he's been here since 11 a.m., and now it's night. He doesn't stop until the job is done. So guys, for now, that's it. Moving on to the other section of this video that you are watching. All right, guys, welcome to my channel. It's your boy. <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, I'm heading back to school right now. I haven't posted on this channel now a while, but I'm going to do that now because I'm trying to do some different kind of things. So you're going to get different content on this channel. Contents like, you know, 
collaboration, unboxing of products and all that stuff because I'm trying to target corporate. You know, I'm lotion my hand before and come talk about yo, the dog and dry him and Chrissy, me know Chrissy have lotion round there, you know, see him. See, they may have my lotion, so I don't want nobody to come tell me no something. You understand what I say? Yeah. But anyways, guys, to be honest, I was at school early this morning. I still have to handle my personal life, schooling, being a husband, being a father, everything in one still. Chrissy say, yo, listen, you feel like say? Yeah, but anyways. So, guys, you know we did our floor, right? Um, we did our floor and we had some of the vinyls, vinyls remaining and we had to return it So I just used the opportunity the space that I have in between school and the next class I used that to rush to floor and decor, drop off the vinyls, get them returned And then I made him back to school because it was kind of close to the school Like, you know, 15-18 minutes So, you know, it's like a 30 minutes to and from And my, my next class is like at, in the next hour you know, and the first, the last class ended at like 9.45. So I did have time. So I did that, heading back to school now. Then I, when I reach in the parking lot, I'm going to do a homework because I have a homework that I haven't completed yet. You understand me? So uh, it may I go do you now. Um, I wish I had my finger guard. All right, may I go through the light here. Yeah, I'm going see no notification on the screen. But yeah, um, I'm going to just... Go back to school, go in my car and start doing that little homework. I got a thesis statement on sonnet, Shakespeare sonnet. I know it affects modern day. So I'm going to do that. You know, we're writing a pay essay on that. But guys, um, I just want you to know that, listen, if you're doing something, don't find excuses. Most time, that's what's stopping us from getting things done. Oh, I true me have kids now, I'm not enough time. Figure it out. You understand me? You could get it done. Understand me? Today I didn't feel like going to school, to be honest. And I had to because if I do it, I probably have to go pay about the boy them money. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't want to pay them back. So I have to pass. Yo, the light hitting my face different, son. I don't know if I like it. Give me an orangeish look, but it's whatever. I'm talking to you guys. But yeah. So, for the most part, guys, we're dealing with Olivia. I'm kind of like depressed right now, in a sense. But kind of happy, but more so concern my daughter olivia was sending her to, to, to daycare school to schooling and she, christy told me she cried today you know and i'm i don't want her to be crying because she don't you know but people say oh she's gonna have to get used to it and then she'll stop but i don't know christy said she brought her there and as she's supposed to leave her in the classroom she run out and then yesterday when we went to pick her up and she see me she started crying like i don't know why she's crying she was there playing i don't know i need to know if she's sitting by herself if she's playing but the teacher said she was playing so maybe she you know she's good and everything and feeding other kids taking up the spoon and putting it in their mouth you know like she's taking over already yo that's my daughter but i really she's clingy guys she's clingy to us she's clingy to me and at times i want that free time you know but i don't know if y'all remember that i said i wanted this experience because i never had it with the other kids i said to you guys that um now that I'm going to witness the birth of Olivia, I'm going to see when she grow, raise every good habits, every bad habit, every style. I'm going to see it and I'm and I'm seeing it now. She's clinging to me. I'm watching her grow. And to send her out, guys, it's kind of, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but it's rough, guys. It, it makes me feel some type of way, you know? And that just left me to start to think the other parents. I see um, ki their kids at the daycare that, that's like six months old. So, you know, that tells me the mom really don't have that much help. So she have to, you know, send the, the child to a daycare at that young age so she could get out there and work. So that in itself, wait till the turn left. That in itself makes me think. Or it might have both parents. But guess what? Both parents are working. And you know, so sometimes you'll never know. But guys, I just want to let y'all know that listen, get out there same way if you get the thing done. It's a rough for you. But you know, when you're reaping all that reward, you're gonna be like, whoa, you're gonna see where you're coming from with it, you know. So just want to know that, you see what I'm saying? But the rough guys and just for not there on Olivia sometimes. It hurt my soul for no say. She probably be thinking that we're giving her away or all of them look at things there, you know, like yo, I don't know. Right now I feel like when school over, I'm just go home and go for her, you know? Take her, go for her. You know, but I don't know, man. 
y'all could comment down below and tell me if y'all experience that when you have to drop your daughter off or your son off your child in general anywhere do they cry forever or do they stop and you know what quick story Chrissy mom said that Chrissy she couldn't leave Chrissy at a daycare she would cry the entire day she have to come back for her Chrissy didn't even start school until Melan started school <laughs> me and her talked last night she said look at most me duns <laughs> but and I'm seeing that with Olivia now so maybe you know maybe it's a, a yo dog I get so fat man boom but wait till I turn this in a muscle and the thing you hear that me I told you know but yeah guys um my partner come reaching out of school then I could probably jump off of the, the camera because I got to start this work that I have to do I at least want to start this thesis because that's what we're going to present in class today guys I understand I'm a last minute guys currently I have um, A's in our class currently but I just one week out of school or two weeks so two weeks out of school so it's not much to say well my US government I don't know I did a class and I got like um I don't know if I'm gonna get a B or a C in that paper. I did that, but the paper is rough. That teacher grades are this man giving you multiple choice and it's not multiple choice. You know when you get a multiple choice and you gotta choose. <sighs> you know when you get a multiple choice, you gotta choose A, B, or C. In this guy's class, why me lotion my skin and it still look ashy? In this guy's class, guys, this man, uh, the man asks you the question. I hope you have to answer it. The way he's, the way he's, um, yo, this man different, but either way. And then in the multiple choice, he still wants you to do an essay version. It's a multiple choice. It's call it fill in the blank because it can't be multiple choice because there was no more multiples of choices. But, anyways, um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I wanted to give you a, um, an update on how I feel about Olivia going to school. Um, type of contents you're gonna get on this platform i'm not gonna stop giving you these updates or regular vlogs but i'm also gonna do content gearing towards collaborations unboxing all i said like i said earlier because i'm targeting a certain audience and for me to do that i have to get in the algorithm so when i when y'all see my unboxing videos you might not be like it might not be for you but trust me it might be for somebody else like for example um i recently got me uh, Apple laptop, you know, I'm gonna unbox it, you know, so Jamaica audience who you know, like that, I mean it's not showing off, it's just trying to reach other companies let me give you an example, because I like to give you all the details, because I realize Jamaicans don't understand vlogging over here, and or they do, but they just want to hate on you because you're doing it, they want to say oh, I'm not sure when it's not for example, um for companies to reach out to you they have to see that your your platform is about this type of content if i post about my car every day then car companies will reach out for me if i post about um air videos air companies gonna reach out if i post uh, you know so on and so on so if i post about electronics then electronic companies gonna reach out to me for example they reach out to us and give us lighting before to review they give us a lot of stuff to review and you know also paid collaboration so i'm gearing towards that so don't be mad if you see some of those content don't be saying your boy showing up it's not well you know show off different from oh, unboxing a video so i'm gonna be unboxing one i'm gonna about chrissy a camera she loves it i'm gonna be unboxing that i already did i haven't posted it yet i'm gonna do dyi videos like protein into my studio um how do i make an acoustic panel for sound dampening y'all probably not interested in it but trust me somebody has interest because i had to look it up to see how to do it so you're gonna get those type of contents along with regular vlogs along with vlogs with my kids my family christy everything so we're gonna cater to everybody don't worry ahead your boy is just getting diverse with diversifying this channel <laughs> Anyways, I'm um, big up on myself. I'm gonna jump to the school work. Um, I'm gonna see. Comment, guys, and tell me if you all know anything about Shakespeare's Sonnet. That's what we're doing right now in Come To. I have an older teacher, and she's into that. I didn't even know that Shakespeare liked both parties. That's what I'm gonna say. Um, so, yeah, I'm doing one. And the essay that we have to write it is that we're gonna choose a sonnet and we're gonna um, make comparison to the 21st century, how it relates. 
So now the sonnet I'm gonna choose is 146. Y'all could go look it up. If you don't know what it is, just type in Shakespeare, what sonnet 146, 146. And that sonnet is about um, you know, beauty and body and how females feels like they have to do this to their body to you know. And then Shakespeare spoke about it in the 1600s, you know, so 1600, something like that. If I'm wrong on the cart, I'm not too bright, but I'm bright, but I'm not done, says. <laughs> Gee, you got blood, you know me. You see me, but guys, big up on yourself. Oh, also, I went to Charlemont too, if y'all didn't know. You know, y'all hear me always say, Jacob, but I did upper six in Charlemont. I did three months in Charlemont High School, upper six. That's before I came to America when I got the scholarship. So, big up the Seamount crew to Sedway. You see me, I say? But if you cut me a green and yellow, you see. You're going to see red representing Charlemont. <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, I'm going to start this. Trust me, I might look happy on the video, but I really don't want to have to do the schoolwork. So. Christy says she know me I'm going to stop after a period of time so because she said me I'm going to try and stop you see it you shouldn't say it Christy you did almost right but you say it me now I make you right you see me but anyways guys big up on yourself if you didn't know I'm doing a degree in film because you don't know me go to school already with a business administration I ain't using that I'm doing film production now and photography so that's where I'm at so don't worry me soon come shoot on a wedding I'm sure couple, well, I probably won't. I'll probably have a business and then have somebody go out to do that. You know? So, yeah, stay tuned. And go support my music, guys. Y'all support my music. Do that. Go listen to my song, share it. Tag me in it. Do all of that. Because we're going to get a hit song. And when we get that song, you're going to be like, yo, I was here. I shared this song. I remember sharing it. But no, they're going to eat in a did like it from the job. Do all of that shit. But anyway, stay tuned. Big up on yourself. Y'all see my studio coming on. Y'all see the video. Y'all see the clipping, right? Jump on it. Tell me how you like it. We gonna revise some songs in too. Anyways, my class starting at like 40 minutes, so I gotta go. Big up on yourself. Soon come back to me. Guys, I did have to tell you this. While I was doing my English 2 work, my grade came back in for my U.S. government class. And guys, I got 102 points out of 100. That means I got a hate. Guys, I really think that I was going to get maybe like, to be honest, maybe like mm, a C. Because I did answer the, the multiple choice part of it. I got, um, I think, 9 out of 10 or, or 8 and a half out of 10, something like that. But they had an essay part to it, which was 25% of your grade. And guys, you know, my, my professor is leaning towards, uh, he always come and... Uh, um, you know represent Trump and he said he's not but it seems like that to me so I was like you know I'm going to write my paper on on um, how they raided Trump home and how they raided um, Joe Biden home and Trump was demanding that yo listen go and check out Biden come to do it to we and I did my paper as to why they didn't raid Trump home why they raid Trump and not raid Biden and I said some stuff you know because I was like, eh, I wanted him to know that, you know, we know too. You're not just going to come and speak on one side of it. But he's a very good teacher, I must say that. He knows his stuff. It's just that he teach one-sided. For now, at least. Maybe he's going to switch after the chapter changes. I don't know. But I'm excited. I got to, hey, whoa. <laughs> Woo. Anyways, back to my work. All right, guys. So, guess what? I'm heading home. School is done for me. My day is done at 12.45. So I'm heading home. I'm going to go pick the kids up. Then take them to a gymnastic. You understand me? Because it's so bombastic. You see me? So I head out before me reach in the traffic. You see me? Come in and want them get my wicked and I have to move gothic. <laughs> Anyways, guys, you know, school done. Now I go home. I don't know why guys but today my mind is on you know I have a normal drive with the windows down let me do that crack it a little bit instead of wasting air condition when gas is so high but I feel so excited today I don't know why I think it's because I want to go home and open the and um, unbox the the, the, the the computer I got and um where do i go though i don't remember i think i go straight anyways let me make this light catch me so i could put my gps in but anyways i'm heading home to go get the kids guys and um 
I think I'm interested in unboxing this computer. I don't know. I want to start using it, even though I don't want to start using it. I'm, if you don't know me, guys, when I get new stuff, I don't like to use it. I just let it sit for days, months. I could take it to my closet where I got shoes I ain't wear, and it's like six, seven months now. I don't know. It's just a frightening thing. I guess that one. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, guys, may I go up now? May I pick up my kids? So stay tuned until we post this. Oh, I'm gonna watch some Netflix. <laughs> this is my favorite. So, guys, I'm washing the car. I'm, I'm at the drive thru right now. Queen Kyra is excited to talk about. Daddy, send this to Queen. This miserable child here. No, I, she you, get it from her mama. Quinn, no, Quinn said that when when you were doing it, you put the blow drying thing on her, and then it just so, and then it didn't, and then it didn't suck her up. Yeah. Well, yeah, guys. Um. So I picked up Kyra from gymnastics. Um. Oh. I went to get my car washed through the drive through. I don't do it often as like I should because I'm paying it monthly. And then I'm gonna stop at Sam's to get some gas. Guys, we really think, say, yo, Sam's, um, these gas stations, I get a run for their money. Sam, I don't know what they do, but they make their gas really, if you remember, they make their gas really affordable. And right now, two gas heavy, but that's how I fool my tank of Sam's, yeah, man. We were behind Julia's car, but then you decided Yeah, to no, make she reached home already, so I had to make a U turn, because that's the reason why I drove this way, so I could get some gas. So. Seriously? Yeah, guys, y'all yeah, see how my dear went real. Let me tell her, well, that's how it is typically. I don't know. Well, that's basically it. Tomorrow, um, I have a few errands to run for tomorrow. I'm going to have to go to Abbey Lobby and um, probably Guitar Center. Or maybe I'll go tonight. I don't know. I'm going to the gym, guys, actually. I'm going to the gym. So. We never go to Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, we we'll never go to Dunkin' Donuts. No, for real, but once I'm tiny, bring the stairs. Did you like it? Yes, but I never got to get a donut. Because mm -hmm. these greedy people wanted to get them. <laughs> well, that's how it goes. But yeah, guys. At least um, we had something fun. I got, um, got the gym later today. I think I'll go today. Is it? No joke. Gym meeting there, is it? I'm starting back again. If, if you and guys we're go cut to some of the food we eat in. If you guys go to Dunkin Donuts and you guys eat donuts, I'm not talking about you. Yeah. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the other people uh, who are doing that. Oh, uh, <laughs> you hear that, guys? But anyways, um, I'm jump over the line, yeah, cause at the Sam's line, this to get some gas, guys. If you are. If you buy gas on a daily basis, on a daily, a weekly basis, get you a Sam's card and get the gas from Sam's. When you gas, we take normally 100 of a fully tank, Sam's make it 60 and 70. That's how cheap it is. It's like $4 a gallon for the road, Sam's I think are like $3 a gallon or something like that. So, that's something there. But yeah. Mm -hmm. 